nuggets, otherwise known as the sonic ice. Everybody okay. knows what sonic ice yeah. is. Cubes, crescents, how else do they come? How you like your ice in Texas isn't as important as having lots of it. <laughs> and we got to keep the sweet tea cold. That's right. I didn't know there were all these names for our ice cubes. But anyway, Amy Davis testing the ice genie. Yeah, so this is the little ice genie. We got it for 1988 at Walmart. It claims that this little canister can make and hold enough ice to replace 10 ice trays in your freezer. What? So I passed huh. it along to Britta Merwin so she could try it out. We'll see how this works out. The Ice Genie says it's dishwasher safe, so Britta started there. Good news, it survived. And then we're going to pour water between the blue and the clear container, so you don't want anything in the middle. After she filled it, in it goes. She put it in her freezer overnight. While it freezes, watch what's supposed to happen, according to the Ice Genie commercial. Just lift out the inner cylinder and empty the cubes into the bucket. Then just refill and freeze again. But Britta had a hard time just getting the lid off the frozen ice genie. After a minute and a half of tugging and pulling, Britta brought a butter knife to the battle. When it finally popped off, she still had more work to get the plastic insert out of the genie. Once it worked, she was able to squeeze small ice cubes out of the plastic. Now to do that three more times. They say you can dump it into a bowl to save them, but who wants to put a bowl in their freezer? So the second option is put the plastic back in and get all the ice cubes in the middle but you want this to have a tight seal. But when she filled it up and froze the water, it all came out as one giant chunk of ice. You can see that the ice is stuck in the center where it's not supposed to be. The commercial claims... Ice Genie could hold up to three batches of ice cubes. That's 120 ice cubes at a time. Wow. Mm -hmm. So Britta asked her seven-year-old to count them. 15, 16, 17. It was all good till he came to that monster block of ice. Maybe this will help it. I thought the ice genie was really bad. It did not pass. It was hard to use. <laughs> it did make me laugh, so I guess that's the positive. I would not recommend it to a friend, and I give it a big fail, sadly. <laughs> so maybe she'd recommend it to someone who's not a friend, someone she doesn't like very much. Yeah, there you much. go. Send it as a gift. <laughs> so not worth uh, $20. We want to know what you want us to test. Britta, if you see anything else, you, you can keep really that. Because that. That okay. if you do volunteer a test, Amy lets you keep the device. That's fine. Yeah, okay. she's like, no. Really? You didn't like yeah, it that much? Even, so. you know, they show that you can put wine and ice cream in it. Yeah. The ice oh. cream container didn't fit. Oh, really? So she yeah. tried a quart, which it seems like it would fit a quart. Yeah. They say it'll fit a pint, but then the pint kind of goes all way the down. way down <laughs> in. So, I mean, and then how long does it take you to eat a pint that you need to keep it cold? Good right? Point. <laughs> Amy, hold to it, Amy. Right. <laughs> that's usually gone in like five minutes. Right? <laughs> yeah. Literally, that, it doesn't last that long. And, oh, yeah. But they, they, I love how they, they 120 cubes, I know. And, but they're all like marble size. Well, Jack said yeah. like, the, the clump was clearly 100. Yeah. <laughs> On there, like, really, I cut that part off. He's like, what, 100. 100. 100 cubes. <laughs> I give up. <laughs> nice. Thanks, guys. Oh, Thanks, wow, Amy. Thanks, awesome. Britta. Mm -hmm.